Coyen me rado cayo and yoga se, tamasse. Ah, would limit him at an epimarado nearman. A doctor vot mana. Covegi luti good lo, a mado a tamaco eca yuti near to it. Piduac to me tamacunung a covening it to me at Tartunun. Tamacoa, Ujero superlena moon, Tamana people near to a new man over a joiner ava or cartilla cane near tunga. A cunero or cartel cat simang it tunga. No can cane or simagama, a kissiani tamana. Angnain Angutillo, Pitia Tauratang, Ilagi Tianer, Anger Ramelo Simon, Uvanga O Martin Niman, Aperia Yaranga, Maripido Catang in Nama Anger Punga. I won't translate that because Rhoda and Elizabeth understood, and one other person I <laughs> picked out that's uh, Inuk. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, everyone, this afternoon. We're not we're going to be watching a couple of videos, but now I know what it's like when people come in for a movie and they're all like, I see everybody's face, so <laughs> I know what the screen feels like now. Um, good day. On behalf of the Law Society of Nunavut and Pauktutit Inuit Women of Canada, welcome to the official launch of the Access to Justice for Va Family Violence Prevention public awareness campaign. For those of you that do not know me and haven't met, I'm Joanna Ava, and I'll be your MC for the next hour. But before we begin, of course, there's always these housekeeping items. So there's exits, make sure you're aware of them in the event of emergency. And if you have any garbage within here, make sure that you throw it out in the outside bin before you uh, leave, that would be great. So in the spring of 2019, Pauktutit Inuit Women of Canada and the Law Society of Nunavut joined forces to undertake a project that could break the silence on family violence in Nunavut. The goal was to better understand the needs of Inuit women dealing with family violence, and we know that's very prevalent all over the territory, and the legal barriers they face, which is even more challenging. Uh, through extensive research and engagement, much information was gathered from both women with lived experience, which is very important, and the service providers who support them. These findings and insights have informed both the parliamentary report, including a number of recommendations, which will be made public and this public at this public awareness campaign. Today we acknowledge the true collective spirit and the foundation of this project from the federal and territorial governments, private, not-for-profit, and the many community members we stand together to break the silence on family violence in Nunavut. Yes, we do. I would like to welcome Rhoda Ungalak, my friend, to light the kulik and say a prayer to, rem to remember those who have been victims of abuse and family violence, and especially to those to who have lost their lives. Let us take a moment to remember them. Let's take a moment to remember. Um, we need the kulluk for light. And this the light from the kulluk is really important because it gives us light and life. We all know that. Uh, because that's why it's it might be just a symbolic ceremony sometimes now today, but this kulluk was our 
lifeline uh, back then before electricity. And so Rhoda is using the same analogy because we do need light to have a good life. So it's almost like symbolic with this kurliq that it's giving us light. Um, She's going to uh, light the kurliq for us now. And as she lights this, can we all please stand and take a moment to remember the victims of domestic violence, the men and women that have lost their lives to violence. And there's many of them. Let's take a moment to remember. You may sit down. Good thing at a table, Oya Vatigin, a kite to tell me at that in you some tinning. Keep it in you some in you sing in Nicky Pissy Lout tuning. As you you win on Ninglo, and not so down a mud tamming nagly gavigin is a magicata tabut and a yokango yud illegio yudlo. Saya mesti lakukan isumak yunner si yunner kulukan inu si nik kipis lau tu nik iling nik tata kau dek. Saya mesti lukan lu mana inu yun kapia sokat tak suding ikayu lakukan nanis kau lukan kapia nangit tu meng inik saming. Upi rosuk bukut nanis si yunner amata. Ukperosuk kuting iling ni. Kau yung magabigil lo, tay mangan ilamin ni. Pakisli ng mata kito ng amin ni lo. Sa imarti lo gillo, sa sanginam sanginam mining ato kuting kibay lawtun ilamin ni anong sa katar tuni. Mame palya ng miglo tunis bigilaw kit. Puyo tayo labot down nutakan kung magtaro tun ano namin nun ano sa ano pisutigil ko apir ay bukod sa puti yao si makulota iling nun tatakulota iling ni nung nakam nung nakam unak bukod inusong mik piyuming sa martes lugilo ano sa ano namin Nukakti sinaming kanaya kaktut sa ngiti lugilo tunis bigilugin kuti taymang aperibugot Jesus at igani Amen. O yan na may larong Rhoda aksuaruk tan na to Rhoda ikay yung katasima yung katimakati kaya katasima ni kudlugodo at ako tamani akarong ni at ako agbig ko katimay yung katimakati kaya simad Thank you so much, Rhoda. And Rhoda is a huge advocate for the um, betterment of women that are in domestic situation uh, abuse as well, because we both sat on the uh, uh, the local Agbik board in Iqaluit. Many individuals and organizations have come together to make today possible. Over the next hour, we have a number of very special guests who have been invited to say a few words regarding their contribution to this public awareness campaign and their ongoing commitment to supporting access to justice for family violence prevention in Nunavun. I would like to present the first of our two funders, Linda Rothstein, board chair of the Law Foundation of Ontario, 
Ms. Rothstein has served as foundation trustee since 2014 and as a board chair since 2016. Let's watch. Hello and good day from Ontario. Thank you for the opportunity to celebrate the launch of this very important public awareness campaign. The Law Foundation of Ontario receives and uses the interest on lawyers and paralegals mixed trust accounts to support access to justice in Ontario. The Foundation's Access to Justice Fund gives our work national reach. It creates new and exciting opportunities for collaboration in all of the provinces and territories of Canada. With support from the Fund, the Law Society of Nunavut and Paktutit Inuit Women of Canada have come together to conduct research to better understand the legal barriers and needs of Inuit women dealing with family violence. We are here today to break the silence on family violence in Nunavut. The fund also supports public legal education. Access to justice is a real concern for women facing family violence in Nunavut. Increasing awareness of the legal and other supports available is an important first step to empower women. Building on the research completed in the first phase of this work, the project partners have created the public awareness campaign we are here to celebrate and launch today. To empower survivors to break the silence, the campaign will give them the information, tools and resources they need to make more informed decisions about their lives. With this information, the Nunavumiut will be better equipped to help themselves and to support family members, neighbours, co-workers and friends experiencing family violence. Let's raise our voices together to break the silence on family violence and abuse in Nunavut. We wish we could be there with you in person. Best wishes. Thank you very much. She's missing a great weather today though by not being in the Kaluid, eh? Spring has sprung. Yesterday there was a fly walking on the floor at my house and I'm like, wrong month. <laughs> Am I even on? Check, check, check. Okay. Thank you to the Law Foundation of Ontario and to Ms. Rothstein for your message. That was wonderful. And now I would like to present our second funder, the Department of Justice Canada, and the Honorable David Lemity, Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Canada. Minister Lemity has served as a parliamentary secretary from 2015 until 2019, when he was appointed Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Canada. Please welcome Mr. Lemati. Tabanipin. Taba. Okay. Ulakut. Good morning. Bonjour. Greetings from my office, which sits on the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee or Mohawk peoples. My best wishes to everyone taking part in the launch of the next phase of the Access to Justice for Family Violence in Nunavut project. I want to thank the Law Society of Nunavut, LSN, and the Paktutit Inuit Women of Canada for your tremendous work, even in the shadow of a pandemic. Your leadership has united so many strong partners, including the federal and territorial governments, nonprofit organizations, and community members. This spirit of collaboration is more critical than ever as we cope with the current public health, social, economic, and human rights crisis, that is the pandemic. La pandémie exacerbe les injustices, les inégalités et la discrimination systémique qui existent déjà dans notre société. De plus, le confinement et l'isolement ont accentué le sentiment de peur et la violence familiale qui vivent des femmes et des enfants en situation de vulnérabilité. En cette journée internationale des femmes, le moment est donc bien choisi pour lancer le prochain volet du projet, dont le but est de soutenir les femmes et les enfants inuits qui subissent de la violence. This Access to Justice for Family Violence in Nunavut project is seeing the light of day at a critical moment. The stories of cyclical family violence and abuse in the North are devastating. 
so too is the lack of resources and support available for those who experience violence, as well as for offenders, families, and the greater community. We know that gendered and racialized violence are rooted in colonial and racist practice that aim to destroy the fabric of Nunavut culture and families. We also know that this intergenerational trauma continues today. The access to justice for family violence in Nunavut project will play a key role in helping women in Nunavut cope with family violence and provide them with access to the legal information they need. The project's strengths are obvious. It emphasizes the strength of survivors and focuses on awareness, empowerment, recovery, culture and community. For these and many more reasons, I am pleased to tell you today that our government has improved, increased funding for this project. This means an additional $61,000 for the 2020-2021 fiscal year and a new total contribution of over $249,000. I applaud the work of Pactutit and the LSN for your determination to overcome the obstacles of the last year and find innovative ways to carry out your vital research and work. I especially want to thank the remarkable women who came forward and shared their lived experiences. We are grateful for their courage, resilience and strength. Their voices resonate in recommendations about how to move forward with a holistic approach grounded in Inuit societal values and one which supports and protects the victims and the offenders. The awareness campaign being launched today is a critical next step, reaching out to all Nunavumiut to help individuals better recognize abusive situations and know how to access legal resources. While this project may have an Inuit focus, it can inspire change on a much larger scale. This is reconciliation in action. It acknowledges the trauma caused by generations of colonial harm and helps propel us forward to a better, stronger future that is grounded in Indigenous systems of community, justice and healing. Our government is more determined than ever to move forward in our work to advance reconciliation. This includes our work on Bill C-15, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples Act or UNDRIP. C'est un projet de loi qui transformera profondément la relation entre la Couronne et les peuples autochtones. Il énonce que la mise en œuvre de la déclaration doit comprendre la prise de mesures concrètes pour lutter contre les injustices, les préjudices, la violence et la discrimination auxquelles font face tous les autochtones. Les aînés, les jeunes, les enfants, les femmes, les hommes, les personnes ayant un handicap, ainsi que les personnes bispirituelles ou de diverses identités de genre. It puts us on a path together to rebuild our relationships and create a better, stronger future for all of us. Thank you again to everyone taking part in this tremendous project. It speaks to the strong collaboration among all actors and the true value of working together. Your contributions are helping to create a brighter future for all in Nunavut. Nakurmik, thank you, merci. Nakurmik, vinga dokta ukta kwa um tabani uni kartwa piora takto um tana takuninga ulume takuksauti tini takuksauti tega to taman na akik pali na to sakik pali na to kuyan na ming. Thank you to the Department of Justice and Minister Lemeti for your message. On behalf of the Law Society of Nunavut and Pauktutit Inuit Women of Canada, I would like to say a special thank you to both funders for which all of this would not be possible without their generation, uh, generous contribution and support. Much of the work dealing with family violence and abuse in Nunavut occurs at the community level through the critical services, programs and support from the government of Nunavut. I would like to welcome Tungasuktid Levon, the Honorable George Hicks, Minister of Justice. And Minister Hicks also represents the constituency of Iqaluit Tasiluk. Please welcome Mr. Hicks.
Not going to be Joanna. Good afternoon, everyone. Today marks an important day, and I'm very happy to attend this Family Violence Awareness Campaign on International Women's Day. I wouldn't be here today if not for the hard work and sacrifices the women in my life have made. And I look forward to the contributions my three daughters will bring toward fostering positive growth to our territory. I'd like to take this time to thank the Law Society of Nunavut and Pauktiktu Inuit Women of Canada for their invitation to this event and for bringing awareness to the issue of family violence and abuse in our territory. The ongoing collaboration between the Department of Justice and your organizations on addressing family violence has been very beneficial to us and we continue to look forward to work going forward to better protect women and girls across this territory. I'd like to talk briefly about several initiatives that the Department of Justice is currently working on. If I could get to the next page, I'd be happy to do so. The first initiative I'd like to highlight are our efforts to review the Family Abuse Intervention Act, which came into force in 2008 and was created to prevent and protect Nunavut from family violence. Built upon Inuit pr principles and traditional values, the Family Abuse Intervention Act is designed to be accessible for anyone facing family violence. It offers support for victims in the form of counseling, emergency protection orders, protection from stalking, and financial compensation. While the Family Abuse Intervention, Inter Intervention Act has helped families across the territory in times of crisis, we must continue to review its effectiveness in addressing the needs of families, the victims of family abuse. For this reason, we and I strongly encourage anyone who is interested to provide your comments and feedback on this act by email to faia at gov.nu.ca. The Department of Justice also recently passed legislation which amended the Labour Standards Act to provide paid leave to individuals experiencing family violence or to individuals supporting someone who is experiencing family violence. We are currently working on creating regulations to bring these new sections into force. I have to say it's one thing to put services in place, but initiatives such as this, we want to make sure that all people that need access to these services understand where that help can be found and that it is available. I think it's very important that anyone who has a need for these services reach out. There are people that want to help. It is my hope that the success of these initiatives, the work of my colleagues in the Departments of Family Services and the Department of Health, and the amazing work done by organizations such as the Law Society of Nunavut and Pauktututi Inuit Women of Canada will positively impact the lives of Nunavut and continue to promote a peaceful and safe society. Thank you once again for your kind invitation to speak and more importantly, for the work that you're doing. Thank you very much. Honorable George Hicks, have a great afternoon. Thank you so much, uh, Minister Hicks. Next, representing Family Services, I would like to welcome the Honorable Elizabeth Siutiapik. Minister Siutiapik represents the constituency of Iqaluit Sina. She also serves as the government house leader, minister responsible for homelessness, minister responsible for poverty reduction, and minister responsible for status of women. That's a huge portfolio, Ms. Siutiapik. Please welcome Ms. Siutiapik. Look good. Happy International Women's Day. I'm proudly wearing my purple today. I can probably use every day. Um, before I do go on to my official messaging, thank you. I have been working on this over 30 years now. It's not easy, but you're going to help us be a voice. As long as I've wait, worked on this, I still lost family members two years ago. 
And I hope I will have more tools, hopefully, to save another life this time. So, kuya naman. Pima kayo man. At tuktaw si mayuin na uyo ko. At tukot si malak tunga kong niya, no? At tukot galwa ka masuli hila, ilay lak ko nga. Inuak si yun, may minik to me. Tagga to kay, at tulang ang lakit to ni, alak kay lang abo. Ikaw yung kung nilang ayo uban ni. Kaya na may video ka lang. As uh, the Minister for Family Services, I am honored and excited to express my support for the launch. And ironically, as the outgoing president at the time of Pope Tutit, they were actually working on their next strategic plan. And I said, you have to include men and boys. Just concentrating on the woman is a band-aid solution. And not too long ago, I took part in Zoom when Paututi launched a toolkit for men and boys. So lots of work has happened. It's now to disseminate and communicate all these great tools that have been. Hopefully, we'll be in a society where we care and not hurt each other anymore. I want to congratulate Paututit and the Law Society and the departments, because from what I understand, several departments were involved, for achieving this. It's not easy. I know because when I started my Angel Street project, I was it's taboo to talk about these. But as a leader, I need that conversation. I'm the first one to say, I don't know it all. But through discussion and dialogue, hopefully there are solutions. Si bulok tuyo katawlong nga kao yung mayroon na lo katangin na ta hanok tuyo kutit sa ni alak kasungun man at suko tiki katak si malukutan na kubya kay luwakta ka ikayo lang ayun na lang Investments such as this campaign and the development of public information and distribution of critical resources are required to support Nunabumilt in their personal recovery from violence raise awareness of violence prevention, promote ongoing health and wellness, and create social change to eliminate violence in the home. And if I may say for a split second, I feel so, so protected. I might as well say this on International Women's Day. I feel very protected because I have two former officers with me. My deputy, uh, Minister and my political vice are both former officers. And uh, it's so helpful because they've seen one side and we're really, as a department, concentrating on prevention. Let's not wait till it gets there. Providing ready access to culturally appropriate and community-based resources that are responsive to the needs of survivors, service providers, and community members reflects commitment to support the well-being of Nunavumut and create a future free from violence. We recognize the support of Voice of Law Society and Nunavumut and Paututi in Women of Canada on their ongoing commitment to create awareness developing resources, and taking critical actions to create social change in Nunavumniut. Damanat anak tayo manu mitsano at si Jivali ay nalunang ni ikayuta ulang ay nita gawan ipugo at ukun nakton The launch of this campaign today on March 8th, International Women's Day, highlights the need for concrete action to create positive change for women at multiple levels and to identify factors that impact the social, economic, cultural, political status of women in Nunavut. Ullumi ilisan nauti logo sila duwailo ani ang nait at jigingit tuni nalunang ipiyo yun ni alakay hatagay halang ayogo 
Gamatu in now with them. Hanogolo Jalica Jatalanga Juan Nanon, Ulumi Nunabu Iluan. Today's also highlights the exhibition of Kuli Nunavut Status of Women's International Women's Day photo competition. The theme for March 2021, International Women's Day, Home is Family, in recognition of the importance of family. Suli Joakta Tamana, Arno Luta, Anano Wata Uva Willuani, Ipiusuina Sumata, Suila to Tamana, Ulu Atabo. Kuli kulu te kwa kagu te mala kau mati china sungu mata kuja kibaka. Thank you for creating this opportunity to launch this wonderful exhibition, highlighting the commitment of Nunavu Mut to pihatigi highlighting the commitment of Nunavu Mut to. Sorry, as Nunavu Mut, we have shared responsibility to take care of our collective health and well-being all year long. Today is this official launch of the Access to Justice for Family Violence Public Awareness Campaign. I understand with Nunavu Mute, and I stand with Nunavu Mute and with you in this room, united in solidarity, and to continue to be advocates, to stand together to break the silence on family violence and abuse in Nunavut. Taima, kuyan nami taba ni niku vin hatau guna gama ni piuga swakti luta anuk tiri ni umit sanu nu katici guma luta. Kuyan nami, thank you. I know I probably broke protocol by we're not allowed to hug, I don't think still, but <laughs> I just can't help it sometimes. Thank you, Minister Siute Epic. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to scheduling conflicts, our next speaker was unable to attend. Representing the Honorable Luan Kusuga, Minister of Health, I would like to invite the Department of Health's Assistant Deputy Minister, Stephen Jackson. Tunga Sukchitauli, Stephen Jackson. Good afternoon. On behalf of Minister of Health, Lauren Kusugak, I am pleased to be here for this exciting launch. The Minister and the Department of Health staff appreciate the hard work that has gone into developing this awareness campaign. We thank all the partners who have dedicated their time to the important cause of healing family violence. This campaign is an important step toward the goal of addressing the harms family violence causes to all Nunavumiat, regardless of age, income, or culture. It recognizes that families are a responsibility that spans a diversity of expertise and requires the support from a variety of organizations. This is in line with the government of Nunavut's Inusavut priority, which commits us to working toward the well-being and self-reliance of our people and our communities. The Department of Health is committed to improving the health of families across Nunavut. Part of that commitment is a dedication to helping all Nunavut lead productive lives in self-reliant and healthy communities. It is vital that our approach incorporates Inuit traditional knowledge and Inuit societal values at all levels of service delivery and design. The social determinants of health remind us of the many underlying factors that contribute to the health and well-being of Nunavumiat. This means that healthy families are comprised of healthy individuals. To that end, from those on the front lines to the policy and lawmakers, Department of Health staff work tirelessly every day to improve the health of all Nunavumiat. The Department of Health recognizes that healthy families is a multifaceted issue that must be addressed not only by the availability of services, but also through education. 
physical health, mental health, and sexual health all contribute to the quality of family life. We commit to supporting individuals, groups, and communities in their efforts to obtain the knowledge and skills that will improve personal, familial, and community control over their health and wellness. Through our health centers and the divisions of population health, mental health and addictions, we offer a variety of programming and services that assist in the enhancement of family health. In support of the Family Violence Campaign, two educational podcasts on mental health and sexual health were developed to add to our support and treatment services. The podcast on sexual health focuses on helping people understand what a healthy relationship looks like. It is designed to help Nunavumiat understand the signs of unhealthy relationships, know their options around sexual health, and feel comfortable around aspects of personal autonomy when it comes to sex and their bodies. This tool is valuable to men and women and can be used to understand not only if their personal relationships are healthy, but when it might be time to seek outside help. The podcast on addictions and mental health focuses on how our mental health and issues with addiction can impact family health. It helps people understand that abuse comes in many forms and has many contributing factors. This podca podcast helps to reinforce how necessary it is for all Nunavumiat to take care of their mental health and to address issues with, <coughs> excuse me, with addiction and violence. This will help them better understand when to seek medical help for the betterment of their personal and family life. To support better collaboration in fostering healthier families, the Department of Health has agreed to join the advisory committee. We believe that bringing all of our partners together will create much needed cross-organizational dialogue. It will also allow us to share best practices, enhance collaboration, and develop new ideas that will benefit all of Nunavut's families. I, the Department of Health staff, and our minister are excited to be part of this new collaborative initiative. We look forward to joining together to become a more unified voice to support healthier families. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jackson. Addressing the issue of abuse and family violence involves many organizations throughout Nunavut, as we all know. It doesn't take one person or one organization or one institution. One of the critical frontline organizations outside of the government of Nunavut is the RCMP. I would like to welcome Chief Superintendent Amanda Jones, the commanding officer for the RCMP in Nunavut. She's the first female commanding officer for V Division. However, she will not be the last. What a great role model. Please welcome Amanda Jones. Thank you very much for that intro. The Unaseku, good afternoon. Bon après-midi. Before I start, I would like to thank Pocketu, Inuit Women of Canada, and the Law Society of Nunavut for the invitation and honor to be a part of the launch of their Access to Justice campaign. I could not think of a better time to launch the campaign, advocating for, advertising for breaking the silence on family violence and abuse against women in Nunavut than on March 8th, the day designated as International Women's Day around the world advocating for women's rights. The International Women's Day 2021 theme is Choose to Challenge. Choose to challenge for women's rights, equality, safe homes, empowerment, and freedom from abuse. I stand before you as a woman and as the commanding officer of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police here in Nunavut. I am joined today by some of my fellow female colleagues, and together we celebrate our achievements, our successes, our struggles, 
and thank those who have supported us in our journey to where we are today. I would love to have stood here before you with all the female employees in Nunavut as they are strong leaders and champions for change on women equality and ending violence against women. However, there's not enough room in this, not enough space here where we are, and someone has to go to work and keep our community safe. <laughs> Superintendent Marie Claude Cote, right here to my left, a French Canadian. 28 years with the RCMP, recently returned from Iraq, where as a director of gender and protection, she joined the International Combined Joint Task Force, Operation Inherent Resolve, and assisted, supported, and mentored Iraqis in finding ways to counter Daesh actions against Iraqis. Superintendent Cote is now the officer in charge of operations for the RCMP here in Nunavut, and is my second in command. <laughs> Sergeant Lisa Leith on the far side is a Northwest Territories Anuk and beneficiary of the new Vialuit final agreement. She has 28 years with the RCMP and is in charge of the RCMP Federal Serious and Organized Crime Unit here in Nunavut. Sergeant Leith leads a team who is one of many operational taskings helped to reduce contraband drugs and alcohol in Nunavut, thus reducing overall violence and violence against women and children in our communities. <laughs> Corporal Tammy Lobb. 15 years with the RCMP, whose specialty is sexual exploitation and human trafficking investigations. Corporal Lobb is currently our family violence coordinator for the RCMP here in Nunavut. And over the last several months since taking the position, she has been building relationships with community justice, family services, the women's shelters, corrections, public prosecution service of Canada, Embrace Life Council, the Amimac Center, and the Pilarvik Kablu Friendship Center, to name a few. Recently, Corporal Love partnered with the Medical Boarding Home to raise awareness and educate Nunavumiat on a variety of topics, such as understanding sexual consent, sexual abuse, and family, family violence, and provided information regarding supports available to them. Corporal Love works with Victim Services and the YWCA Women's Shelter, and together they have delivered sexual explo exploitation and human trafficking presentations to clients and staff at the shelter in Iqaluit. In partnership with the Department of Health and Omimac Center, Corporal Love de delivered a joint presentation to various service providers in Rankin Inlet on the effects of family violence on children. <laughs> Most importantly, Corporal Love has been assisting victims of spousal abuse by meeting them at the hospital after being medevaced to a Callowit for injuries sustained through domestic violence. She has provided bedside support and has helped link the client to applicable support services. We, the RCMP, and I, as the commanding officer of the RCM Nunavut, fully support Pocketitudes and Law Society of Nunavut in this Access to Justice campaign. On January 27, 2021, the Commissioner of the RCMP, Brenda Lucky, and President of Pocketitude Inuit Women of Canada, Rebecca Kudlu, signed a historic document to I knew I was going to screw this up. The Penis uh, sorry, the Penis Ginek Agreement to work cooperatively together, formalizing our working relationship to improve the protection and safety of Inuit women, children, and gender diverse persons. I look forward to working with Proctitude towards implementing recommendations from their 2020 report addressing gendered violence against Inuit women a review of police policies and pr practices in Inuit Nunungat and partnering together to reduce violence against women in Nunavut. We do not tolerate violence against women and children. And it takes all of us to stand up and say no. And it takes all of us to provide the support women and children in abusive situations need in order to empower them for change. Nakrami, thank you. Merci. Thank you so much, Chief Superintendent Jones. Now I have the honor of reading a statement from Pauk Tutit, Inuit Women of Canada's President, Rebecca Kadluk, 
Ms. Kedluk has served as president since 2014. Previously, she has also served on the Pogtudi board as vice president. Like many of us during this pandemic, President Kedluk has been working from her home in Baker Lake. Unfortunately, she was not able to join us today. I will be reading her statement in Inuktitut. If you would like to switch um, to read your scripts. Tana unikang niaktara Rebecca Kadlu ukausari si mayanga udlukut kamanit tuarmen udlumitamani to magaluak sunga tana pimarea de pidlugu tamakua ha ujasok padliani kanok tamakua pitia katau takatanga ngin nir ilagin nir ipare nilunu kapalia yun namanga nuna bumi. Si budlak pa make takua ekama yumayaka asiu si mayut yaga si mayut ang nailu inuakta si mayun. Amatau tak kuah hang kubeh sukit lunga tamak kuah sibuk gelak tabon pilihan dalam dengan kanut ini naruk inu sekejap tinun kuyen nama kita kuah pauk tu tikunut ikayu katik tweet nunabut law society law society ab nunabut law foundation of Ontario tak kuah kuyen dia bon amatau tak kuah government kuah kanat kami nunabut government kuat amat parisi kuat ikayu katak semang mata ubat tinning Tak kuat tahu kata macam mana atas semua kamera waktu aksi ada kuya di bawah. Tama kuat kau yang majatin, amat tahu atau kat tak semua majatin, amat sila tu ni ada di atas semua ikan yang semat lagi tu ubat tinin. Amat tahu ni pergi jauh lalu tak angin atau thirty six akar gue orang tak anu pauk tu tikut tema aksi kat tak semua jauh di tama kuat kisut tu ini pival lalu tu tiada ini usah mau tama kuat ala kaku lugin tama kuat ini unik angin ane aktu ilu waktu ini tama nak Pitya katengin ni amat tahu teman nak anak suka katang ni apa perlihat jom mukulugu mungkin lebih perlihat jom mukulugu. Tak kau tahu ulam itu kau sekarang memang menjawab pingasut pimario jui teman kau apa waktu tikun ni aksor tiga jauh semaju teman nak ilagi tu pitya katau tak katengin ni mixanum. Sebut lepa mungkin teman nak pimario ni ngan ngan alang ni. Amma tamakwa kau yang majau unik, amma tau inuin kau yang majang inning. Tamakwa piluak tu mek aktor tau kat tak si majuit, makwa piruk perliat diluit asian nu tau yut, amma tau ilin nyerak tau kat terau si majun. Tamakwa iglu kat yang inning, amma aktor nak tu mek inning mek iglu kang nak, an aktor nak tu mek iglu ni iglu minner, amma tau tamakwa an nyerak terau kena mod, makwa atuin nak kat tak tu. Ilin niat kat ilin niat tiang nang, ama asing itu, tama ku ikayu tiaw kat tak tu, ipi valer ni ku duki nau yakun. Tama na, ama tiaw atu kat tak si maya bo ulu mau tikit sugu, tama ku suna tu ina dua aksu ku tiki jawab piu kat tengit tu sakit tu ubat ini inu ulu ta. Ama tama na tiaw ilagi yang mayong, tama na piti kat tiaw tak kat tengin nang, tama ku atu rok si maya bo, tama ku ulu mau tikit sugu atong mata. Inu tiaw kau yang mayu tama ku Akau ngilu kita kagak waktu dulu inu dulu tak kanok tu kalau kata kanok tu kita tak mahu atau inau gebuin amat tahu tak ko sibuk waktu dulu tak inu dulu tak sibuk lupa mek nara dulu tak amat kamera dulu tak amat tahu tak ko inna kejabut amat ikhna waktu kata tu kita mahu tahu ubat ini ikayon nang mejuit isumak isumangit amat kau yang majeng majeng dulu gin amat tahu tak mahu ko solo piu mana kejabut tahu tu kita dulu Suruh si tini, ama engkau tak tini tak kau nak lu tak aku tahu tu tahu tay mailing yang realin, ama tahu tak aku uvi kau kanon, pihal aku nak mengata ikat tu ini omik sanun, ama tahu tak aku ini usikulungit solo, imang isumakut ama timikut anak tahu kat tengen milu te angin kangen ni nuna lengen ni nama tu nak lu ni tak aku tahu uvi kau ikat juga kang meja bon. Tak kuat pemerah itu dapat, tapi kuat sakit tau lor semaju kau sakit tau neumik sanut. Tak kuat nanti jauh sila, cuci sila semaju itu iman nailing ayun. Tapi kuat inuin, nuna katigin, tak kuat ikhna ya katigin luting, tapi mana tak kuat piti ya katau tak katengit tweet, ilagi tunin, ilagi tunin, katu jaga katigin luting. Amat tahu tak nasi bumbung agak suang nak kau tak kau ini kau yang mahu tu kengat pih pekat tahu tiar luti ilau luting. Amat tahu teman nak malik alik ni atuk tahun amat ini pih kusingan ilah kusingan tak kau ikat yuk tinggi tiar luting atau tikku tabung tikil lutik teh mete raya kauin. Amat tahu apa tu tikku tak semingat pemerah tu tujuin tak kau tahu ikhna ya kata kat siang neng. 
Are you going to vote for me now? <laughs> She's very intelligent, and I was trying to do justice to her beautiful words, but I tried my best. Thank you, Rebecca. You'll be hearing from me after this. No, just kidding. <laughs> 
Next, we would like to welcome John McLean, the president of the Law Society of Nunavut and director of Nunavut Lawyers Assistance Program. Mr. McLean also is legal counsel in the Legal and Constitutional Law Division of the Nunavut Department of Justice. Please welcome. So good afternoon, Unusakut, a bon midi. And on this International Women's Day, it would be hard for me not to acknowledge the fact that I come from a family of very strong and very independent and very capable women. And I would not be standing here today but for them. Uh, so the Law Society's access to justice mandate is to build connections using collaborative approaches. And this mandate is helping us to better respond to the legal needs and interests of all Nunavumiut. In particular, we want to support Nunavumiut in recognizing family violence and understand the legal barriers and needs of Inuit women dealing with family violence in Nunavut. More so, we want to provide Nunavumiut with better understanding of what they can do to deal with their family violence, including gaining a better understanding of the options available to them. So building on Pauk Tatit's work on family violence and past work through our Access to Justice program and public legal education initiatives, we formed a partnership to address the issue. The Law Society is an organization with a governing mandate to regulate lawyers in the public interest. We believe that providing legal information and support to find the appropriate legal or law-related resources is part of our mandate. Working together, we want to open a dialogue among Nunavumiut about what constitutes family violence, how to recognize family violence, and what can be done to address it. The research study component helped establish baseline information on unmet legal needs. Building on this information, the awareness campaign was developed in a collaborative approach to break the silence on family violence in Nunavut. What we are launching here today will play a crucial role in promoting access to justice for family violence prevention. We are grateful to our advisory committee members, to the many individuals and organizations who have contributed to this project so far. First and foremost, we extend our most sincere gratitude to the 38 courageous Inuit women from three regions of Nunavut who participated in this study without their self-described determination to improve their safety and the safety of women in similar circumstances, the qualitative research component of this project would not have been possible. We remain genuinely humbled and tremendously appreciative that they chose to share their experiences with us. As well, we are incredibly grateful for the contributions of the service providers and community members who took the time to attend the focus group in each community. We truly appreciate them sharing their knowledge and perspectives about the successes and challenges encountered when responding to gender-based violence against Inuit women. Each of us can identify someone in our lives who has been affected by family violence. Maybe it's a member of our family. Maybe it's someone we love, someone who's loved us. Maybe it's a colleague who comes to work with a bruise they didn't have on Friday night. Each one of us knows someone. I think we can all agree that it's in the public interest to address family violence in our communities and to stop that from happening. I'm here today as a product of strong independent women and as president of the Law Society of Nunavut to reaffirm that the Law Society of Nunavut is committed to continuing to work with all of our partners, many of whom you've heard from today, and our stakeholders, and we will continue to support their efforts to collaboratively find solutions to end this cycle of family violence in Nunavut. Koyanamik, merci, thank you. Thank you very much, John McLean. Thank you so much for that. Now I turn the stage over to Miss Nalini Vadapelli, and her name, her first name in Inuktitut means Naglingnik. If you translate it, means love. Isn't that wonderful? 
Ms. But I always had the hardest time saying her last name, so I really apologize. Ms. Vadapelli is the Access to Justice for Family Violence Prevention Project co-lead, representing the Law Society of Nunavut, where she has served as a CEO for the last 10 years. So please welcome Ms. Nalini. I'm really humble to um, to uh, be speaking after such uh, great partners um, standing with us today. Um, and I wanted to thank Joanna and Rhoda for accepting our invitation to be part of the um, opening activities. And thank you, Joanna, as well. And thank you to John. John has been a tremendous president and supporting the Law Society's mandate to protect the public. And we will continue to collaborate and work towards ending the cycle of violence, of family violence in Nunavut. This past year and a half has been quite the journey. I've had the privilege to work and meet so many wonderful and dedicated individuals. Core to this project was the advisory committee, reflecting the importance of addressing abuse and family violence holistically the committee represents a wide range of organizations, both government, non-government, legal, and non-legal. A heartfelt thank you to each of the members and their organizations. They've invested time and effort and joined many, many conversations and, and a lot of emails back and forth. The wealth of knowledge and expertise shared by these individuals ensured that the project was carried out in a relevant, appropriate, and sensitive manner. Please allow me the opportunity to acknowledge your committee members. From the YWCA AGVIC Society, Executive Director Sherry Robinson, and former direct Executive Director Carolyn Anawak, our youth representative and Nunavut Law Program student Tagalik Eccles, until February 2020, we welcome from the University of Alberta adjunct professor Priscilla Ferrazzi, from Maliganik Tusigiavik Legal Services, family law lawyer Nancy Hellier. I would also like to thank my colleagues from the Nunavut Bar for joining me today in standing together. They're at the back room and they're over there, but I wanted to thank them. Representing Kikitani Inuit Association, Hagar Idlaut Sulovinik, who's the director of social policy and Justice of the Peace, Nicole Sigma. From the Government of Nunavut, from the Department of Justice, Jessica Young, Christine Ai, Donna Olson Hakongak, Natalie Salguero, and Rita Strickland. From the Department of Family Services, Margaret Wormel, and from the Department of Health, Margaret Piercy. I've gained a strong sense of belief that looking at this room today and hearing everyone that our conversations and many emails have turned into actions. I'm truly humbled. Each of the organizations represented by the advisory committee play a significant role in addressing abuse and family violence in Nunavut. The collaborative approach to this project has given us a unique roadmap to explore ways to break the silos and work better together. How could we not? Some of the recommendations arising from the data speak to the role of the RCMP. Thank you to our officers for standing together with us today. And Chief Superintendent Jones, please pass on our recognition to Corporal Jamie Savikatak, who was one of the first stakeholder the Law Society and Paututik met back in June of 2019, as we were just commencing the research phase. We're very grateful for his time to share his own um, knowledge and expertise with us. As a demonstration of our commitment to strengthen our collaborative approach, I would like to encourage you to meet some of our Government of Nunavut service providers in the lobby after this event. I would also like to acknowledge the YWCA Agvik Society, who are providing information on their own project, Maki Garnik, empowering Inuit women for stronger communities set to launch this spring. I would also invite you to visit the photo exhibition, and Minister Shutepik mentioned it, by Kulik Nunavut Status of Women. The photo exhibition on home is family, 
highlights the importance of healthy families in our territory. Please visit our, new, our, our museum. Our colleagues from the Department of Family Services are also on the same journey to raise awareness on, inter on International Women's Day. Information contained in a poster and postcard have been shipped to community-based family wellness offices across the territory. These materials are also available today. We're also delighted that the Department of Justice has now made available the Family Abuse Intervention Act toll-free number as part of our public awareness materials. Before the official launch, please allow me to acknowledge board members and volunteers who are joining us today from the Kamatsiaktuk Nunavut helpline. Kamatsiaktuk means thoughtful people who care. This important service started by volunteers in Iqaluit in 1990. Today, they continue to provide a high quality service 24 seven for people who are in distress or crisis. John and the rest of the executive members of the Law Society will no doubt join me in applauding their dedication and commitment, all on a volunteer basis. The Law Society will continue to choose the helpline as its organization of choice when it honors its own Law Society volunteer members. And now, for the official launch of the Access to Justice for Family Violence Prevention campaign, which is led by Inuit Social Values, it has been designated with guidance from the Advisory Committee to empower Nunuvumiu to recognize abusive such situations, whether for themselves or someone they know or just a citizen passing by and not sure what to do. I often hear, I did want to help, but I was not sure how to go about it. And these are legitimate feelings. The campaign also wants to increase public understanding about the Family Abuse Intervention Act and other available options, including legal options. Multiple innovative components will be used to share the information. The launch today, but also a launch in Cambridge Bay today with our colleagues from Justice. Posters, podcasts share with all of the communities, play language resources, community visits, one-on-one -on -one meetings are so important. A dedicated project Facebook page launches today. Please check it out, like it, share it. Those are Rachel's word probably. <laughs> Watch for ongoing updates throughout the year. We're also working on a short film capturing the stories of four women and their empowerment journey with abuse and family violence. Their stories speak of strength in survival. The short film is a testament to these remarkable women. We are hoping their powerful and raw stories will empower someone who may be in an abusive situation and encourage them to reach out and get the support and help they need. I would like to share with you today a clip from this film. So let's watch it together. Inulukta kan wit to me agalu inagligi yaw ko mablutit ay pataso. Nagling ne mixan ay pataga so katak to go nagligo so go mabluta, nagligi yaw ko mabluta. Ah, nagtukta ko mabluta te man na ukalaw si mang ito. Udya ko so katak ta so kay maino katip tin ni. Uwa ko atok ni kup tin ni. Takuga nga ta asya ni inun ni. Nalo na e katak to go tao so lo tana ukto ka klugo namo me apisu kupta ukunga bluta ne akuvu kiveak teli yo okallak teli yo kina mermo ukunga yo ne akunga pisukto naluna ikuti ge kattak ta katak kukulu una anne rusukto isuma lukto umatikku anne akto suteli titau yukulu sala ge yonni kummagalu isuma Ummatikku, timikku. Tämä tuokat lakatik sakakpo. Uvalunni ajungi kangama, udjari kangakku. Ukalla mea unnakama kinamea tsermu. Ukalla kvigilak paklugu. Tämä 
ko tagpakawi mang nikalwa ko ko hai kinawi na magmeu tawi u inu pa inu ti tok wigilo ko kablo na ng pa kablo na ti tok wigilo ko kano ipe uplutia walo tama ang mga mga sunagol sunagol mga 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 unikarlo nga ama o kalag wigilo ko uwang ay pigiyaga tana atu te kalag ay lung mak kablo na ti to tayo ko tawo to intuition o kauti magpaklugi Takko uge uge ng kawyagi tao to kawyagi pisuk diluti na kwe kataksi mayo tao nung akwe ang ayuti ikay guti ng kawag uwan nyo wiga ay para kwe ako yakatlaw ng ma o kalakat ka katag kulaw ng makina metjerme kawyiyaw gumang ng muto tan na pigyak bigi katag tara ilan ni ko wa Kanok to ina na ako kulo ako mo lawle, ingmini na magsalawle. Kanok yaman masa mami salawle tayn na tayn na kulo kung asa kauyok. Udjero sukuila po ingmini nagling nga tayn na kanwilo tao ni ko tayn na ang na angon sa kuilo niyo pisipigingita tayn man na pero sak tao ng inapta sa Kui ko piging nita, tayo na iling no tayo man nilo lang to, ulo tama kasi isumagisura. Tana tao uwan no atu te kang ma mamisak nyo mixano, mamigumamo, ikayugumamo, sa imagumamo, ama ingmini nagligusung nangne. Tana wakalaluma, ingmini nagligusung ni tana ayok na lang ako. To ayok na lang o kukting mininagligusong ni. Kisaya ni tao ta na ilitigun na tao nagling na ni nang mini, ing mini. Tama nga pige ako ta, tao nga iso kang ngito mo, ing ikaw na tao. O kalakatik sa kalwak to yayang ikuwi pa'y pa mo titirak lugo. So na mi ikpigusupid. So na ikaw mabiw na ukuan ng nak Kanu kaya uwan ni kayo kung nakpunga. Dama ko ako makuwag lugi, pili ka lugi, ayok na ngito. At siya unikakawunga. Mamisang niyo miksano pili rin ni kung makalaga ma. Kisaya ni tao, eh. Ikayo paklunga ino katim ni kisaya ni tao uwan. Nalunay si magumayo nga. Ukad la kati kakatak tunga suli. Ukpiri yam ni. Tunga giyam ni. Nagligi yam ni. Unik ka katag tunga, sung mga ublo mi akaw sa tiyang ipunga. Ito sa agun nakto, pili ribing ano, ukalugun nakto nga. Iso mayang itiak lunga siya ni ukilan ni ko ukalumea sungo yunga namumea. Dako man na iman na ipigusok tunga, nalo yunga so iman na iso maga mga. Dahil na ukala katigiya ka so kaima, apik so lima lika ang atatema, nui pala lika taklutit. Ikpigi yak kaso taman na ikpigi ko suka mga takwa noy palle so ukalang ni taman na at atu te ka victuang ma titerang ni pa pa mo atu te ka ma kanok to inuy to sa tia laule ingmi ni nokak tita to inang iluta to to tang ito inak luta ayok ayok sigumakao Tawa tu kup talo nukak lute suwaleng na kapta. Ingmi ni nukak ti. Ningaw man ni taman na like ti gumea gumawao. Mamisang ni omiksa no like kayo si gumang ipul like. Excuses. Nothing but excuses. When we get stuck, when we think we cannot talk to a stranger so what if it's a different counselor so what if it's uh uh you know someone from legal aid or the health center or a mental health worker or a psychologist or a psychiatrist so what if it's somebody different every single time so what if i gave myself excuses not to get help then i was messing up my own life and the life of my children my grandchildren and my future great-grandchildren. The thing that has helped me the most in getting counseling over the years is 
this one amazing, amazing counselor said to me, you live in a circle. You're in the center of the circle. Whoever in your life is in your circle is there for a reason. If they are not there to love and respect and honor you and lift you up and encourage you, and if they repeatedly, verbally, mentally, physically abuse you, you have every right to say, I don't want you in my life. Close the door and let them out of your circle. We have to set an example of how we want to be treated, loved and honored and respected and cared for. We also have to resonate that. We have to live it. We have to live the life we want to live and how we want to be treated. Isumatjaklunit, 
piruk sarniku bluni temen tautu kluni piung itu mi sokai piung itu ni lega luarang apda ujang nangim. It's a way of living. You think it's normal. You think it's normal because you've seen it in your friends or your relatives, you know, or them sharing stories of the abuse they're enduring. You think it's normal. It's a normal way of life. When in actual fact, it's not normal. That's not how two people treat each other that love each other. You know? It, and it, you don't realize that until you're older and you, you've matured intellectually, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, physically. Then only then do you realize, okay, that's not normal way of life. Only until you get to that point can you start to heal and look for help out there. I'm just going to cut my notes and just... <laughs> Powerful, powerful. Just want to honor these women who are taking part in a short film, series of short film, and we will obviously keep everyone apprised of when the entire uh, series of films will come out. So thank you for sharing, for standing with us today. Each and every one of us in this room today plays a role in empowering Nunavumiut in knowing the signs, including sharing information with someone so they can take that courageous steps and know they will be supported. We must continue our efforts to keep working together so that no one has to be left in the dark in fear of violence and abuse. Please continue to join us. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ms. Vadapalli. That was very powerful video as well. And her message, the message that she gave, it just resonates with everything I think that uh, a person feels uh, when they're going through a situation that they can't seem to escape from. And on behalf of Pauktuvdit Inuit Women of Canada and the Law Society of Nunavut, I would like to express a sincere thank you to everyone for taking the time today to be with us to launch Access to Justice for Val Family Violence Prevention in Nunavut Public Awareness Campaign. And of course, standing together, we can break the silence on family violence in Nunavut. And we must, we have no more choice uh, but to do that if we're going to move forward. We have a diverse community. Our diverse community is getting bigger. And uh, there's certainly a lot more diversity. And I think that uh, Inuit have always been very welcoming ever since the Hudson Bay Company set foot in our uh, homeland. Uh, but over the years, our lives have changed so much to a point where today, a lot of women and men are feeling lost. And it's all up to us to work together, not look at them as Inuit or other color, but look at them as a human being someone who needs help, someone who needs you. Look it into their eyes and into their souls, and you will know that there's no color in humanity. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We all have our part. Do we have throat singers, or do we have to do that, too? <laughs> I can try. Oh, come here, please introduce yourselves. I have Olivia Chislet Amakina. Kristen, Kristen Kauna. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, as was mentioned, my name is Olivia Akishu Chislet. My name is Kristen Kauna. Um, I've been throat singing since I was 12, and we have a few songs that we will be throat singing for you today. Um, the first one is Kimmiruluapik, and I think the, the story behind this song is about strength, gaining strength. Um, taking care and sharing uh, love and patience. And I think that's very telling of how women are as well. So we'll start off with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Before we continue on with our next song, I'd just like to uh, be, say that I'm really grateful that we were invited here today and a happy National Women's Day to everyone. And uh, although throat singing isn't uh, a women's only uh, activity, um, it does have its roots in traditional, uh, tr traditional throat singing does have its roots in Inuit women. So I'd just like to acknowledge that and be very grateful that we were able to perform today. The next song we're gonna do is the love song. song will be Anori or the wind. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us perform. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Olivia Chislet and Kristen Kaunak. Okay, I said it properly. Thank you so much coming for everybody. Have a great day. Have a great afternoon. Go out and enjoy the lovely weather. And this has been fantastic uh, lunch hour. Lovely lunch hour. Have a great day. Have a great day.